Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we are doing my April TBR. I suck at TBRs and I say this every single freaking month, but I think I read one book on my TBR from March. Um, so I suck at them. <laughs> so for April, um, but I still like making them. Uh, so for April, instead, um, I'm, I still have books that I want to get to. I'm still doing a TBR. Um, but most of the books that are on this TBR are new releases that I know I want to get to in April. Um, books for read-alongs. And then I, instead of putting like a specific book, I have a couple of authors that I want to read like the next book in their backlist from. So that's what we're gonna do um, and I'm gonna mention those as just a way like these are the ones that I know that I want to prioritize this month and these are the ones that come out this month that I know that I want to read. Uh, that way I still get the fun of making the TBR but I don't have the disappointment <laughs> or failure <laughs> that I feel sometimes when I look at my TBRs that I made and realize that I read none of them. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just get started with the new releases. The first one that I am so freaking excited for is The Long Game by Rachel Reed. This is the uh, follow-up book to Heated Rivalry. Um, this is an MM Hockey, Enemies to Lovers. Um, they were rivals and uh, their book, uh, Heated Rivalry, which I freaking adored, that I read so long ago, it ended in a happy for now, basically. Um, and this is the continuation to their story. And I am so excited. I am so excited. This book comes out on the 26th of April. And I, this is the book that I will be dropping all other books to read. Um, I am 100% going to be reading this on the day that it comes out um, because I'm so freaking excited. Rachel Reed also releases all of her books in audio so I don't have to worry about that. Um, it's already available for audiobook pre-order so I am super super excited um, and I am so glad to go back into their story and be able to get a full um, see how that they how they've been doing since the end of their book and get an actual like happy ever after for them so the next book is another one that is a drop everything kind of release but that is caution to the wind by gianna darling i am incredibly excited about this this is the next book in gianna darling's fallen men series she released the cover recently it's so sexy um and the blurb sounds amazing. It is a best friend's dad age gap romance motorcycle club, obviously, because it's fallen men. And it sounds fantastic. The only reason that I say hopefully I will be able to read it is because I don't know if this will have an audiobook immediate release because uh, Jenna Darling has been making her books into audiobooks and I know that she's going to make an audiobook for this book because I messaged her messaged her and asked her but I don't know if it's going to come out on the same day so if it doesn't come out on the same day I'm going to try my absolute hardest to read the ebook but her books are long and ebooks are still hard for me so I'm going to try um, but it's going to be a depending on how my head feels on that day incredibly excited for it and I needed to mention it even if I know even if it doesn't come out on audio and I don't get to it. The next one uh, that's also a new release is Those Three Little Words by Megan Quinn. It releases on April 5th I believe and this one is the next book in her um, Kiss and Don't Tell is the first one and it follows it's another hockey romance it follows um in Kiss and Don't Tell, there was this group of friends that are all on the same hockey team, and this is another one of those friends. Um, so each book is going to be about one of the friends. And this one, I don't know who the uh, characters are in it, um, like who the hero is, but 
it is a surprise pregnancy romance where um, it's bro uh, best friend's little sister surprise pregnancy. So that sounds like all sorts of drama and I'm here for it. I really really enjoyed Kiss and Don't Tell and I think this one will be great also. Then the next one and I think the last one that I wanted to mention that was a um, new release is the Nightingale Anthology for Ukraine. This comes out on the uh, 4th, I mean the 5th of April also. Um, this is a very large, it seems, anthology um, that a bunch of romance authors have put together where the proceeds go to benefit uh, Ukraine. So I've pre-ordered this. There are so many of my favorite authors that are participating in it. Anthologies are really hard um, because I never actually like read all of it, but I have a um, quite a few authors that are absolute favorites that are autobiotype authors that I will be reading their stories for sure. So that's all of the new releases that I wanted to read. Um, the next two that I'm going to mention are for Sarah J Mass's read along that Jen from the Book Refuge is holding. Um, I am going to be following along with them as they read uh, the Throne of Glass series. I am rereading Crescent, uh, Court of Thorns and Roses on my own. I just reread all of um, Akatar, Akamath, and Akawar, um, and will probably be reading A Court of Silver Flames <laughs> this uh, in April. So I'm not necessarily going to be following when the other people are reading those ones. I have never read Throne of Glass series. I am a huge Sarah J Maas fan, but I have never read the Throne of Glass series. I read the first book, the Throne I read Throne of Glass. Um when it like had first come out, my younger brother uh was reading them um, and he read Throne of Glass and he needed somebody to talk to about it and was like oh my god I need to talk to somebody about this book so he handed it to me and said read this book I read it and so he could talk to me about it but I don't remember anything and that's literally so many years ago because I think it was like right after the second book um, Crown of Midnight had just come out so it was a very long time ago and I never continued and I don't remember anything that happened in Throne of Glass. So I am excited to read it for the first time. Um, and I will be reading Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight in April. Those are the two, um, one, two first books that are on Jen's read along list that are for April. So I'm going to be reading those two. I am excited. I am also nervous. I know that there's less romance in these and I have a hard time reading books that don't have romance anymore because I get really bored. I don't mean to but I get really bored when there's no romance. So I am hoping I will like them. Um, but let me know if you want me to vlog reading Throne of Glass for the first time. Um, because literally I, it's basically the first time because I remember absolutely nothing and so many people talk about Throne of Glass you like scroll through Instagram, TikTok, anything, YouTube and people talk about Throne of Glass and it goes way over my head I literally can't name like I think there's somebody named Rowan and Aelin I think is the other one's name I though that's all I literally know nothing about this series um so I have done a pretty good job of making it so that I have no idea what's going on so it's going to be basically for the first time so let me know if you want me to vlog my experience <laughs> then the next one that's on my list is stuck with you by Allie Hazelwood this one is one of her novella ones it's the most recent one that came out um, I hated the first novella that she came out with but I enjoyed um, the love hypothesis when I first read it not as much as everyone else like I gave it four stars I enjoyed it um but I hated the first novella that came out so rather than buying the second one I put it on hold at my library and the library loan comes in in April so I'm putting it on my TBR because I do want to read it and I always give authors three tries so I am not going to just not read any more Allie Hazelwood because I hated them 
one the first novella um so i'm gonna try this one and if i hate this one then i won't read the third one but we're gonna try it and i don't know anything about it i'm assuming the guy the title stuck with you that it's some sort of forced proximity that they get stuck together somewhere i know that the heroine is in stem because that's what ally hazelwood is known for uh but that's all i got so then the uh next ones <laughs> are the three authors that I have been reading literally nonstop um, for all of March, and that is Melanie Harlow, Devney Perry, and Claire Kingsley. I am basically in love with all of their books. Um, Claire Kingsley, um, I read the Bailey Brothers series, and I just finished the Miles, Brother Miles Family series, so I will be reading another book by Claire Kingsley. I don't know which one is next, um, so I'm not sure which of her books that I want to read, but I know that I want to continue reading her books so I will be reading a Claire Kingsley book in <laughs> April. Um, then Men Melanie Harlow I have liked her books um, but they all seem to have the same conflict so I'm having a little bit of trouble with them but I still am really enjoying them um, and so I want to read the next one in the I think it's called the Cloverleaf Farm series. I read the first book. The next one which is called Undeniable um, I read Irresistible and enjoyed it, so I want to read the second one, which is Undeniable. And this is a f enemies to lovers one, and it's small town. And then I also want to read the next book in Melanie Harlow's um, Bellamy Creek series, which is Call Me Crazy, and that is a small town marriage of convenience romance. So those are the two Melanie Harlow books that I definitely want to read um, in April. And for Devney Perry, I want to read the next book in the Jameson Valley series. I think the one that I'm currently reading right now is called The Outpost. So whatever's after that is the one that I want to read. And then I also want to either her Clifton Forge series or her um, Indigo Valley, like the main really popular one that's right now indigo ridge i think is what it's called so whatever the first one of that is um i know that i want to read those too so i've been very uh powering through those three authors backlists um and i want to keep continuing so those are ones that i definitely want to get to um and that's all that i had on my list for my april tbr um i'm sorry that was so chaotic but it is just the way that i'm gonna have to do things in order to actually pinpoint what i want to read is just be a little bit more broad um but that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching please let me know down in the comments below if you have a book recommendation for me that you think i would enjoy i always am looking for new recommendations but that's it uh please subscribe so you can see me in more videos and i hope you have a great day bye